As you can see the visibility was about 15 feet on this day which is really good for our area and that makes for some awesome striper washing and for some really good videos. The amount of lobster that we see in this area greatly varies depending on conditions and on this day there happened to be a lot of lobster but just a few days later there was almost none which goes to show you have to be in the right time at the right place and have a little bit of luck to have a day like this. And this catch here is a good example of how it's not always as easy as swimming to the bottom and grabbing the lobster. Sometimes it is really hard to extract them from their dens. This lobster is in a den that I would say is the ideal spot for catching because he was on, under a small boulder that I could reach around the back of and poke him right out the front. Can you spot the flounder from the surface? These winter flounder have chromatophores which are cells in their skin which enable them to change the color based on their surroundings. This individual was too small to harvest so I swam down and got some good videos of him. This is something I don't see too often. These were two male lobsters that were fighting out in the open. They had left the safety of their dens to fight over something which made it really easy for me to swim to the bottom and grab them. Right here I swim up and pass off the first lobster that I had just caught and then swim back down to try to capture the second one. Just for reference, that is about a 30 inch striper, and this has got to be one of my favorite clips I've ever captured. Encounters like these remind me that I am just a visitor to this environment, but to these striper, lobster, and other creatures, this landscape is their inescapable reality. Diving with these striped bass has given me great insight into their feeding behavior. Most of the time I see them, they're sitting in the current, picking off tiny little invertebrates that are floating by. And I often see them nose up on and as well as pick things off of vertical walls. Most of the time they're eating things too small for me to even see. Old weedy lobster pots like this one are really good habitats for lobster and are always worth checking. And on this particular cage, I ended up coming up with two lobsters at the same time.
you want some one-of-a-kind real fish print shirts, visit fishingrecreation.co to learn more. I appreciate all of my followers so much, and if you would like to support my page, purchasing a shirt off my Etsy store will go a long way. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and be sure to subscribe and check back in for more videos soon.